Hey guys, Chris here. The Form 3 printer is finally shipping and I got mine. So today I'm gonna walk you through the setup and the process of me printing my first part. This will be mostly about the nuts and bolts of setting up the Form 3 and my general first impressions. Oh, and sorry about the noise and reflections. I wanted to get some things set up quick, so you're just gonna have to bear with me. Form 3, it's finally here. Let's get it set up. I really do like how Form packages their printers. The printer comes nested down in here and they give you these nice handles that fit down in the box so you can lift the printer out of the box without killing yourself or breaking the printer or pulling the lid off or something. But definitely do keep this and the, the original box in case you have to ship the printer back. Uh, you do need that packaging. I had to ship my old one back for calibration and I had to buy new packaging. So keep it around. Taking a look inside, got some die cast aluminum parts. All right, so let's find this little bracket we gotta get rid of. Yeah, little thumb screws, remove the bracket. All right, so there is the little bracket. They're pretty tight. Get removed. It would have been nice if you could have just loosened the nub, the screws, slid it back, and then tightened them just to keep it out of place, and then you wouldn't have to keep track of this thing. But whatever. All right, and I just plug it in. It's starting to boot up. Congratulations on your new printer. Press begin to set up a printer. Confirm that you've removed the LPU latch and packaging before proceeding. Did it. Scanning for available networks. Okay, Wi-Fi password. It's my phone alerting me that something else just signed on to the network. It's important the printer sits level. Yep. I do like these, the leveling disc that they use here. So you get, they give you these little plastic leveling discs. And the, the slot here fits right around the feet. So you just shove it on there all the way till it clocks, clicks in. Then you can raise and lower the feet to try to get the dot in the middle. So it's time. Now this one actually tells you, okay, so it need, tells me I need to turn this foot clockwise. So that's pretty cool. Not perfect, but it says it's good, so go with that. Loading the tank. All right, so here's the tank in its plastic wrap, and here's the I assume is the wiper. Comparing it to the old printer, at least. I try to keep this stuff all especially clean, like it shows. Never touch the bottom. Only hold, only hold the outside parts of the tray. Okay, cool. It ships in a good uh, plastic protective case. Place the mixer flattened tank with arms facing mixer case on the left. I think that's in. It's a pretty light click. It doesn't give a lot of confidence that it's in there, but pretty sure it is. You can see the little legs at the well. Probably too dark for you to see, but I can see the little legs in there. They're in the right spot. So I went through a couple screens, but it basically said open the lid, slide the cartridge in, like so, until it clicks into place. Alright, 
and it gets in. It wasn't a huge click, but it definitely seems firmly seated. You can see the spout is kind of where it needs to be. There's no huge gaps on the back side, so it's not going in much further. All right, says it's good. This guy's exactly the same as it is on the Form 2, which I definitely appreciate. Um, I still have a relatively new one from my old one, so um, I'll keep that one as a backup and just start with this new one. A little bigger one wouldn't hurt because then you get bigger print volume, but I like the compatibility. Cartridge installation. Da -da. Shake the cartridge, will do. I usually go with the clear. I've had good luck with it. I like using it for um, to make to print molds. And then you can see the flow of silicone or urethane or whatever you're molding. Works really well. I do need to start experimenting with some tough or durable stuff so I can get some click assembly parts and slightly flexible parts that are a little less brittle. We are shaking. Next, you remove the cover off the bottom, drop it in, open the cap. Okay. I always like give this a little push, make sure the slot slit opens up. Some of the old ones were a, a little tough and you had to press it really hard to get it started. I just want to do that here so the printer doesn't have to try to do it. Take the tape off. And it just drops in. And then push the cap until it's open. Cartridge installed. It knows it's in there already. Now we're supposed to go online, enter that code. It'll register this printer to my account and we'll be good to go. Okay, I went to formlabs.com slash startup, just like the printer said. I'm gonna put in my code. All right, so I have to go through the on-screen setup, which I did, set up preform. I have the older version, but I think there's a newer version here. Agree, agree, there we go. All right, so I assume add my printer. Ugh, I have to add the IP address. All right, it knows it has clear version four. Tank is unused. That's my printer. Let's move this to layer thickness setting is in beta. All right, so pretty similar to before. This gives, okay. So in the toolbar that used to be down here, it looks like they moved everything up here I feel like in the last one you could do this, so I'm going to try it. Undersized, use inches, there we go. Don't need it that big. Let's do something like that. Alright, so this is checking for printability. Let's add supports. Auto generate. I've always liked kind of globular abstract shapes, so I've, and I've been messing with Blender a little bit. So this was one of my first things I tinkered with in Blender. Let's see if we can print it. Okay, it looks like all the printability checks went well. We've got all green thumbs. Let's print. Says it's ready to go. Upload job. Okay, so after a little while of the computer generating print file, it started uploading. So I hit print. Now it says to check and make sure the cap's open. It is. But next, preparing to print. Huh? Cool. Looks like I got that hooked up right. Alright, the screen says it's filling now.
Okay, print is done ten and a half hours later. that in my alcohol bath turn it on get nice and clean and now into my curing chamber been the recommended amount of time. Looks pretty good. All right, now this is what I've been waiting for. How easy are these supports going to snap off? All right, let me get the clippers. That's pretty good. They did break off pretty clean. I'm pretty happy with that. And here's my sculpture. After just a little bit of sanding and a couple of clear coats, the clear comes out really nice. I've always been really happy with it. You can see a couple of uh, layer lines from the print, but nothing, nothing crazy. So am I happy with the Form 3? Definitely. Would I recommend it to somebody who has an FDM printer like a MakerBot or a PrinterBot? Absolutely. The resolution and the surface finish will blow you away. Would I recommend it to somebody who has a Form 2 that's chugging along? Probably not. Maybe I don't have the settings tweaked just right or I was expecting too much, but it doesn't seem that much better than the Form 2. So let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and I'll see you next time.